if you're interested in luxury items and you're curious about blockchain then this is the video for you my name is Miriam Greenwich I'm a licensed attorney I specialize in intellectual property as well as helping small businesses and content creators build their business and protect their intellectual property or their business assets and in this video we are discussing Louis Vuitton the luxury French brand that we all know and love and if we don't love them we're at least curious about what they have behind their curtain in terms of marketing and how they get people to go crazy over their brand. So earlier this year, Louis Vuitton announced that it will no longer be using the date code as markers of authentication for its luxury items. And instead, this date code is being replaced with microchips. Now these microchips are placed in the luxury good in a very discreet place that we can't feel or see or touch but this will be replacing the date code that most of us have come, become familiar with. So any goods manufactured after March 1st, 2021 will have the microchip and any goods manufactured prior to March 1st, 2021 will of course have the date code. Louis Vuitton is not going to recall everything produced prior to March 1st in order to retroactively install this device. Customers have already begun purchasing goods with the microchip, so let's find out why this is important for you. So like I mentioned before, prior to March 1st, Louis Vuitton relied on the date code method as a marker of authentication. What the date code was made up was a series of letters and numbers that a buyer or seller, especially on the pre-love market, can pretty much type this into the internet and verify that this item was made in a particular region of France or Italy at a certain time. Now this date code is being replaced with the microchip and this microchip is made with radio frequency ID and it's replacing the date code. Now Louis Vuitton is not the first luxury brand to begin using this type of technology. Salvatore Ferragamo has been using it for quite some time as well as Montclair and I anticipate that probably by the end of 2021 the latest 2022 most luxury brands will begin implementing this type of technology as a way to combat the amount of fakes that have just become ubiquitous in the luxury good market. Now these chips are produced with blockchain. Now blockchain is pretty much a way of storing digital information that cannot be changed, manipulated, or hacked. It's a foolproof way of storing this digital information. And it's only seen by those in the network. And it's only transferred, this information can only be shared or transferred by those who are in the network. Now the information of this chain is privately held by Louis Vuitton. So only employees or particularly SAs or sales associates or sales assistants at Louis Vuitton stores have a special iPad or an iPhone that they can scan this information and be able to verify that the item. So like I mentioned before, only Louis Vuitton sales associates can scan these microchips and verify the information because they're in the network of Louis Vuitton to be able to see this information. But some things to know, this microchip does not have GPS technology. Some people were concerned whether or not the big eye in the sky is tracking them. That's not the case with this. This is not a GPS type of technology. It's just to be able to store the information about the Louis Vuitton merchandise. Another thing to know, if you suspect you've purchased something that has a microchip and you scan it and the Louis Vuitton website comes up, you have a fake. So that's almost certain you have a fake. Thirdly, there's some technology, some apps out there that claim to be able to read the information on the microchip. I doubt this is credible because this information is privately held by Louis Vuitton. It's under lock and key. So any app claiming to be able to read it, I would not believe them. I would say, 
highly unlikely. Louis Vuitton has the money, the resources, the research to be able to invest in the best technology to make sure it's foolproof that no one else can access this information. Yes, there's very sophisticated hackers out there, but I'm assuming Louis Vuitton is anticipating this and is trying to stay ahead of, of the curve. I was going to say something else, but I'm not going to say that. But let's anticipate Louis Vuitton has a sophisticated team of people who know how to anticipate any hacking of the system. Also, one, what's really interesting is that this shows luxury brands stepping into the 21st century and adopting digital assets. And we know them for their physical and tangible assets that we admire, that we purchase, that we enjoy in our everyday lives, whether that's a bag, watch, shoes, but now they're tapping into the realm of digital assets, which is really interesting to see. And I anticipate, like I mentioned before, all luxury brands will eventually begin developing their digital assets. So this poses the question for you. Do you anticipate that most luxury brands will begin using some form of digital asset as a commodity to trade and sell? I think so. If you have any thoughts on this, just drop that in the comment section. I would love to get a conversation going about digital assets and luxury brands. And also another thing for you to know is I want you to start thinking about what you could develop as a luxury asset. I think in the next five years, all of us will have luxury, excuse me, not luxury asset, digital assets. So I think in the next five years, all of us will begin to develop some sort of digital asset that we can monetize and sell and transfer and distribute across different networks. And it's another way of earning revenue. I know it seems far-fetched now, but if you all know Gary Vee, he's really at the forefront of developing his digital intellectual property in the form of NFTs. And I anticipate others will follow suit because this is the future. Assets will no longer be things that we can touch and see, but also intangible digital assets that we can trade across various networks. So that's where I see us moving. Let me know your thoughts on Louis Vuitton using this new technology to authenticate. How do you think that this is going to affect the resale market? Those who love Louis Vuitton flooding the pre-love market and purchasing all the Louis Vuitton because of the fear of not being able to authenticate future items. So I anticipate Rebag or Fashion File or Vestair Collective doing really well in the initial stages because people flooding the market because of the trust that they have come to develop for their customers, where customers can go to them and say, I know my item is authentic, they verify, they have authenticators, so I don't have to worry. In the beginning stages, I anticipate this happening. I see Rebag and Vestir Collective and Fashion File really struggling, if not already, to get ahead of the curve as to how they're going to deal with it because they're not going to be able to verify that an item is authentic. They don't have the technology, they don't have the app, to verify that an item is a real gen genuine Louis Vuitton item. So I see a bit of um, trouble for these companies in terms of how are they going to adapt. That means they're going to have to develop relationships with maybe these fashion houses, but a lot of these fashion houses frown upon the second hand market and don't exactly like their items being as ubiquitous and accessible on the second hand market. So this is a way of brands also curtailing purchases on the secondhand market, making it only that people can buy their items in, in store or on their website. This is another thing that I see being really interesting coming down the pike. Also with the increase, we all know these brands have been increasing their prices in 2020 as well as 2021. Trust and believe that these fashion houses are offsetting the cost of this technology onto the consumer. They have invested in these technologies, but the consumer is going to pick up the tabs for the implementation of this technology in their luxury goods. It's really going to be an interesting year in terms of how these pre-love sites 
handle and deal with this and how they pivot in anticipation of other luxury houses adopting this technology. So I want you to also be paying attention to that if you're a lover of luxury goods. Don't forget to comment in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. I hope this information is helpful and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.